Doug, is this how you drum when you grow? Yeah. <laughs> Wait, watch this, watch this. Hit it with the cross. <laughs> So after the Frankie drum solo, I just had to show you guys. We are at my favorite place in the world, on Warp Tour at least, Daring Lake. So assuming this rain kind of blows over, well, it goes riding a moose. We will be back here riding some roller coasters. I remember that loop-de-loop -loop one's my favorite one. So excited. Here comes that wind and that weather. I don't know if you guys remember, the last time we were here, two years ago, j Val was set up right there, and we had that long meet and greet going right up the hill, and everyone was just sliding down the mud. Like right down there. And I refused to leave until I met every single one of you guys. And we did. You guys all stuck it out through the rain and the mud. Freaking blew my mind and Jay Val's mind. That was where I think Jay Val was like, wow, you guys have some crazy fans. So we don't have an official signing today. So I'm just kind of like getting FaceTime and walking around trying to meet as many people as possible. Is the broken Aussie here still? Look at him hobbling around. How about these fashions? How do you need walk? Same got dickies, black socks, and sandals with a splint. And then one foot, you gotta have a nice one there. Is that Australian? This is very Australian. This is standard. This is our, uh, this is our beach outfit. Tell the internet what you did. After the show yesterday, we were walking the band back to the bus. And a bunch of wild kangaroos attacked. And of course, I'm the only one that knew how to manage this situation. So. Of course. Without him, we would all die by kangaroo hands. Hey, Zach, while you're tuning, I found in tune. There, I think it's in tune now. There, that's better, that's better. Yeah. Where we going, where we going? Roger, Dr. Five Five Nine, we're Paul Mix. Who's talking? A wounded angle. He's teaching us the uh, secondary uses for the brain. Actually, it's probably the primary use. I would say, I'd say people really what's in there. Is that a concealed weapon right. now? Pour yourself. Uh, that's like what I was saying earlier. Totally oh yeah. my god, Danny. I mean, it's literally the perfect tool to support your foot. Yeah. <laughs> you lost. You thought of everything, didn't you? So before we get to do all that, we have to do all this. It's not really a have to, but we get to because that it's definitely not work. I don't consider it work. That's gonna be fun though. You gonna get one too? What? You gonna get a tattoo? Let me see this. Dude, you're so hot. You're so hot right now. That snacks, you so hot right now. I am. I'm climbing like the this emoji. Watch back. The unicorn emoji and the rainbow emoji all at the same time. So the show was awesome. I found out, I was talking to Jake, I think I might have shin splints because with my balance, I've never quite got my full control over my left side of my body. I have to, like, obviously I have the control of my body. But, like, I'm not as strong, obviously, as I used to be yet. So I naturally jump on my right foot. I mean, I think over time doing that of the shows, because the stages aren't very soft, I think I have shin splints on my freaking right foot. Or my right, right, on my right shin, I guess I should say. It sucks. It hurts so bad. I'd rather have a twisted ankle right now. So I was going to be a tricycle with Kate and Danny. But then Ben showed up, so now we are a quad pod. We are a go kart, if you will. Quad pod, Ed. We're a quad pod. But the thing is, Ben's got that tramp stamp, so he's not my date. Yeah, you wear that tramp stamp. The thing is, is they're on a Pokemon team. Yeah, they're, we're going to be on. Uh, we're hanging out. No, we were just texting each other. That's <laughs> ours aren't yet. No, keep your eyes peeled. <laughs> Who's been playing that Pokemon Go uh, game? You guys are addicted too. It seems like it's like a cultural phenomenon right now. How you guys doing back there? Pretty good, I don't think we're in the shot. Yeah. There it is. Hey, we're doing good. All right, Ben and I are in the lead. <laughs> Look at my feet. <laughs> Whee! <laughs> Sorry, I laughed as a big spot. <laughs> Here we go. If you guys didn't know, Ben laughs when he's nervous. <laughs> I 
forget how crazy that freaking roller coaster is. All you do is you go back and forth. Back. I see why it's called the Mind Eraser, though. Eh, eh. These dorks are playing Pokemon Go. Oh, you guys done flicking that ball? No, I'm texting Kate right now. Ooh, Pokeballs! Eggs. Is what I texted her. Who got an egg? Uh, yeah, that's, I don't think I said this in the video. If I don't download that app, I get 100 bucks by December. December 31st? December 31st. But well, what if download Allie downloads it? Then that's going to be 10 times harder for you not to get it because she's going to want to go on Poke Dates. So she has to get the weight within three pounds, age within two years, birth within two months. Is it not all three? It's one. It's only one. Watch the lots. Yeah, she's figuring this all out. Oh, my God. Oh, look at that! Seven. Oh! I'm gonna cry. Uh, <laughs> You're so young. I actually paid her another five for the ego boost, so. I'm gonna say. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> not checking your oil or anything. 180? Within what? How many pounds? Three pounds. Three. All right, let's do this. I got you done. See. Oh. Wow. 180? Yeah. She thought you were fatter than you really are. Yeah. He's he's not as dense as he looks. So we're gonna do the giant swing, and because the winds are higher, all three of us have to go now. And we can't bring the camera with us, so Kate is over there filming for us. Up there once we got to the top. I forgot I was supposed to pull the rib cord. Well, that was fun. They gave us a photo and everything. Oh, by the way, I got a panda bear. I don't know if I showed you guys. I got a panda bear because that girl could totally not guess how, how much I weigh. I got bogs in Atlanta. What? See, I have broads in Atlanta. Oh, if you guys didn't know, Danny has broads in Atlanta. Pegasus. Go for it, snacks. Sorry, I'm choking them now. I'm so bad. It's, it's pitching kind of high. One more until we start throwing up. I remember this one. This was a good one. <laughs> Give me a drop D. Right off the back. Okay, that back hurts. Here we go. Oh, sh oh, sh no! No! Ah! Oh, oh, it's like Kumba. Someone just spit my mouth. Crap. Someone just spit my mouth. Becoming one of my favorite things to do on Warp Tour now is just go to watch the yellow card and hang out with everybody. Out of all this tour, out of all tours. Hey, how's it going? Good. Hey. <laughs> Drive safe. I will. Don't worry about it. What I was saying was that this tour tour is probably the hardest tour because I'm away from Allie and the family so much and the puppies. That makes it a little bit better, like goofballs like that, meaning CT Rex Deers. But it's kind of nice to go watch Yellow Card and listen to him play that song because it really kind of reminds me of Allie so much. 
mean, obviously I love touring, I love playing music, but it definitely has its downsides. And I know if I ever stopped doing it, Allie would kick my ass for not doing it anymore, because she would never allow that to happen. And that's why I love her so much. She's so supportive and she's so, even those times where, I'm not saying like I would, but even those times where I feel like I can't anymore, I'll be completely honest. I mean, all the traveling, there's a lot of stress. You get to that moment in your life where you're like, do I want to do this anymore? You know, because you're away from the person you love so much. You're away from all your friends, your comfort zone, your house, all those things. Then you have that support system, and she's my support system, as well as you guys, obviously. This is kind of a rant, but what I was trying to say is that it's kind of nice to go and watch just a couple of those songs and just get that reminder on how much I miss her and how much I love her and how much this wouldn't be possible without you guys because another little fun story. I played in a band called Suspense Thriller, you guys already knew that. And we played in a place called the Monterey Deli in Sarasota, Florida. And we played with a band called Yellow Card in 2001, I think it was. So it is a complete mind explosion to share the stage, be friends with all the guys, go hang out with them all the time and just listen to these songs and have new meaning to all these songs and have new attachments. I got goosebumps. I have goosebumps right now because life is crazy. I mean, you don't know where you're gonna end up. <laughs> I guess that's what I'm trying to say. Being on the Warp Tour, being in a band with all my friends and loving it, get to travel the world, get to play in front of thousands of people a day. It's a dream come true. I think one of my most memorable moments and this kind of ties into that whole conversation I was just having, was when he played at the Buffalo Sabres Stadium with Demi Lovato, I think Fall Out Boy, and all those bands and things like that. We, we played with them on the same stage. There's like 13,000 people or 15,000 people were singing our song just yelling at us. See right there is a perfect example where I just kind of like stood back and I was just like, wow. How the hell did I get here? So before saying goodnight, I just thought this was gorgeous and I wanted to show you guys. So I will see you guys tomorrow as always. Don't forget to subscribe and have a great night. Bye guys. Bye. 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 Bye.